talking about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could just wear Define on my chest. Like I walk around San Francisco sometimes with T-shirts that say Define, and they like they get it. They're like, oh, sweet, awesome, Define. Okay. Well, um, the um, what what about people in the industry here? How have I mean, you know, you you now you're yeah, you're I mean, part of this select group of people mm -hmm. that are young making wine. I mean, how do they react? I mean, we're uh, growing the grapes with the intention of being a rosé, so the, if they're quality grapes, it's going to make quality wine. It's not necessarily the, the winemaker's um, age or yeah. experience level. If quality grapes will make quality wine. I mean, that's what the French winemakers say, or you're yeah. a wine grower, not a winemaker. Right. Here it's a little like more about celebrity status and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, the, the fruit speaks for itself, and uh, I've just been uh, telling a very transparent story behind it all. And it's uh, been very, uh, people pick it up and they listen. And I mean, I walked into the French Laundry the first day and I was like, I know what rosé you have on your list and this is better. This is not Saunier rosé. You have Saunier rosé on your wine list. And this is grapes grown with the intention of being a rosé. So it's more naturally balanced. It has more, more bold flavors. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's been appreciated. Uh, second account, I walked into Bar de Sono. I was like, I just talked to the French Laundry. They're considering it. Like, would you want to be my second account? And they're like, yep, let's do That's it. That's a good one. You didn't have to pick yourself up and dust yourself off that after the laundry. No, walk. I mean, that, I mean, being an entrepreneur, you definitely get knocked down a lot. But yeah. it's you just got to grin and bear it and can't win them all. But uh, So you're founder, winemaker, mm -hmm. marketing director. Uh, Sales, janitor, <laughs> you name it, whatever I need to be. So, uh, other, what do your parents think of uh, this? Oh, they're uh, so supportive. I mean, they come out like four times a year to, uh, to visit the sun, yeah. wine, wine tasting and hanging out in sunny California. They're back on the East Coast, so yeah. anything away from the snow is good. And so now, the, now they're wine aficionados. Oh, and, definitely. They're so my biggest supporters, that's for sure. So, so tell me, how does, you know, how do you walk in and convince, I mean, you know, I've been to a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm around the world, but let's just say in this country, how do you walk in and convince the wine buyer that you've got one of the best products that they can put on their list? Uh, I mean, it, it really boils down to flavor. I, can't, I can talk all day, but if it doesn't taste good, then uh, they're not gonna believe the story. So the, the flavor is definitely there. And I just tell a very transparent story. You know, well, it's, I guess it works because I, Jack Cakebread, that's what he used to do. He'd walk in and just pull the cork, mm -hmm. and he'd uh, we have on. a very unique product too. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that, and we have a very sexy looking brand. Um, it's a it's a transparent concept, um, so I can I can talk to anybody about it, and once they see that, then I think that's a pretty powerful thing. Yeah, I, I was looking at something uh, 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 on the net, and I just want to see mm -hmm. if I I don't want to cite the wrong figures, but um, I said that. Uh, Provence, uh, the largest wine region specializing in dry rosé, and the exports to the United States jumped 40% last year. So, oh, I mean, yeah, it's wild. I mean, is rosé really growing like yeah, that? Yeah, it mean, is. It's the largest growing wine category in, over the past, like, seven years, I'm pretty sure. In both still and sparkling? Uh, in still. I'm not in sure still. about sparkling. Okay. So is that part of the reason why... Th oh, I mean, that's been, it's been an encouraging factor. Um, you know, again, I went into this first year because I saw the, the Sanye, but right, right. seeing this as I'm building Paul Wagner's business plan, like, wow, what, these numbers are wild. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it just kept me thinking like, oh, I'm onto something. I should probably trademark this or, you know, I should probably pull an all-nighter because I think I got this. Yeah. Well... Um, so I've just been trying to go as fast as I see it going. But have you, have you found that anybody said, well, I liked this because it was made from a particular grape variety. Mm -hmm. Now what about now you're changing grape varieties? Have you gotten that kind of uh, Yeah, I mean, reaction? I would definitely love to make another Syrah Grenache because the flavor profile is awesome. My mom mm -hmm. likes it better than the 2012. I personally like the 2012 better than the 2011. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to have the financial backing to do multiple product lines. So we've been focusing on one product each that's year. That's where you could expand. Then mm -hmm. you could have we more could, than one rosé. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's yeah, a whole profile of pink. That sounds really good. I I so noticed I a few years ago uh, in Yonville, one of the retailers was 
they put out 30 rosés, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, they were from all over, Yeah. but it just seemed that there was an interest in it. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're... Yeah. I, I mean, I, when you walk in the door it. of a restaurant, are they willing to talk to you? Oh, definitely. They? It's so cool. They, they, they see the scene behind it, too. It's like day drinking, happy, flirtatious, like... You know, you're wearing white, you're dressed up, it's brunch time wine. It's, it's a cool scene behind the rosé. And, and the people who know rosé have had a European experience, usually. Yeah. And it's really n not really high alcohol, is it? Usually? No, not typically. Um, this, one, I, uh, this one was a little more bolder. This was 14% alcohol. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was intentional, though, because we, uh, we had to put some oak behind it, too. Mm -hmm. So oak. Uh, yep. you, you aged? Yeah, we do uh, French oak each year. Oh, now that's a different... Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going... Yeah, it's how, very unique. How did you decide to do that? Uh, seeing it over at Round Pond, they do it for their high-end Sauvignon Blanc, and I love the flavor profile of it. Um, it's a light flavor. It's a light toast. Mm -hmm. It's, um, yeah, it's some nice mouthfeel and a really awesome bouquet. If so. you don't mind me saying so, it seemed like you learned a lot in oh, five definitely. years from... Yeah, from, uh, the winemakers have been rock stars. I've learned a lot from each one of them separately. And, and you incorporate, then, the best of what you've learned? I mean, you know, Yeah, in I your can still call them up. I, you know, I'm not afraid. I, I, go, I walk in today, actually, from the very first winemaker. He's like, oh, no way. Like, you're, about to, you're trying to make an offer to me now? Like, <laughs> yeah, but so so they fun. see you as a compliment rather than competition. No, yeah, Is exactly. The... I, yeah. If I were to make being, making another Cabernet, maybe they'd feel threatened. But no one's specializing in what we're doing, so they don't really see us as a fully a threat. It's such an individual product. Sure. Only. And, and I would assume that because you are appealing to a market, you know, restaurants, they don't want, you don't need to have volume in order to get in the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're going to have a couple of cases maybe. Mm -hmm. is, is that the general sale? Uh, yeah. At, at yeah, restaurants? Just, yeah, just a couple of cases. Yeah, Do, nothing, nothing too big. You still have moment. some of the... No, we the, sold out of that one. Yeah, that was very first vintage. Yeah. I personally only have like four bottles of this, so wow. you're seeing one of them. Well, I guess I'm not going to get a taste of those, but uh, no, but uh, uh, but the other one. Yeah, this one, uh, this one's available though. This is uh, Pinot Noir. We have 40 cases left of this one. We started off with 120. Why the change in the bottle size? Uh, we saw it as a popular gifting item, okay. and uh, this was more of uh, an available gifting item. This mm -hmm. was. Um, we were selling this for 42 bucks a bottle. Mm -hmm. This one goes for 18 bucks a bottle. So they're e a lot easier to throw down a 20 bucks sure. for someone else. Sure. So I, I see that. Yeah, yeah, and a great picnic too. And um, yeah, we were trying to we were trying something else out too because we wanted to understand what the market was really about. This year we were saying think pink, drink pink. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't know if that was kind of taking away like uh, the the masculinity of it. Um, you know, maybe that was just talking to women. Mm -hmm. So this year we wanted to just test out what it was like to say like red rosé. This is red rosé. So is there, a, is the color a is lot it, different? Oh yeah, yeah. It's more red than this. Look okay. at the color of yeah, this now. Right, it's almost right. becoming a, it's almost becoming a salmon because of yeah. the, the grenache is really coming out of it. Sure. So you you really like the the merlot? Yeah, yeah the merlot is kick. Yeah, where, kick butt. Where, where did the grapes come from? What part Trefethin. of it? Trefethin. Oh, mm -hmm. so that's, um, I started to say Oak, Oak Knoll. Oak Knoll, yep. Oak Knoll. Uh, yep, the OKD, Oak right. Knoll District. And Sustain Merlot from there is? Yeah, is sustainably grown. It's, it's really color stuff. Nice big berries, you know, ra nice rachis on it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we distemmed it, crushed it, let it sit for four days. Got a really beautiful color. So if if people watching this program want to want to uh, experience uh, define wines rosé, you, you can buy it online. Yes. Uh, and just one more time, where can they find this one uh, at, in restaurants or, or where? Uh, uh, we got it at uh, here in Napa. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen Thirteen uh, Colt Amazing. Following on First Street. Where? Colt Following. I don't know that. It's, uh, it's an old Persian rug shop that could co oh, converted yeah, yeah. into okay, uh, sure. yes. like a collaborative tasting room or something. I just I'd forgotten about the name. Oh, and Morimoto. That's another one I forgot. Morimoto has this. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, anybody up out? You said Lucy also. Uh, yes, Bartosono. And as uh, Lucy. Yes. 
Okay, I, I was just trying to, in, in my head, do you think any of them will have any of this? Or have they sold it out? Uh, maybe on Dawes. Okay. Maybe we'll go, we'll third. Go looking. Yeah. We'll go Bartisono. Looking. That'd probably be my best bet. Okay. Bartisono. All right. Lucy. So, do you have a thought about what the grape might be for 2014? No, I'm not sure yet. Okay. We'll just, I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Who the knows how the how this harvest is going to go with uh, early bud break and all? Yeah. Sure. Well, that's something to consider. But at this point, other than grow by ha by having a second or third rosé, will define the vintage by maybe a different grape variety every year. Is that possibly? The, so that's yeah. Sounds, I need, might need a but, sneeze. Well, that that sounds exciting. I'm I'm glad that you were able to. Uh, to stop by today and and uh, and you know explain this project because I really didn't know much about it. Uh, yeah, well, it's I, uh, it's getting uh, it's, it's getting talked about, which is really exciting, and I think we're coming up with a very unique idea. Um, um, Multi-level marketing. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to it. I can I can talk to a homeless man about it, or I can talk to a billionaire about it. There's something there's something weird with that. That's that's a very uh, <laughs> yeah. it's a universal idea. And you're living in San Francisco and working up here, so yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's great. Are you still working in any other winery, or is this now just the project? I'm currently taking on some work with uh, Napa Private Tours, okay. being one of their wine educators and tour guides. Well, great. You, you seem to know what you're doing, so uh, yeah. in five short years, that's terrific. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, if you want to know anything about the fine wines, go online, give David a, a shout, buy some wine, and enjoy... Define Rosé. We're winding and dining in the Napa Valley.